if you are looking for any kind of prep help uh, for your technical interviews or any kind of coding challenge, uh, this is kind of the video for you. I have my own technical interview in about two weeks that I am preparing for. And so this is kind of uh, making these videos helps me prepare, but hopefully I can also like disseminate that information. Uh, so that's kind of the point of these videos. So here I am tackling uh, one of my problems today. This is on Hacker Rank, and this one is called Angry Professor. So I'm going to put uh, some time on the clock. I, I give myself about 15 minutes. A discrete mathematics professor has a class of students frustrated with their lack of discipline. Um, he decides to cancel class if fewer than a some number of students are present when class starts. Arrival times go from on time, meaning that they are less than or equal to zero, to arriving late, uh, being greater than the arrival time that uh, they should be com coming in. Okay, given uh, the arrival time of each student and a threshold number of attendees, determine if the class is canceled. So here's some examples here. So for example, uh, if there are six students who arrive on time at oh at so who arrive at times negative one negative one so i guess they're early by a minute zero zero on time and then one one the four uh four are on time and two arrive late if there are is if the k is four then you need at least those four students to be there so um the class will continue so the functions should return false there and if k is five you, you don't meet that threshold and the class would be canceled um, okay. Oh, it says you must return yes, return yes if the class is canceled or no otherwise. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm getting an idea of what to kind of how I would think about this. So I don't think you can I don't think you can get through it any faster than big O of n. You have to go through each element to check. So that's something. Uh, and I think you could you could probably do it in one pass actually. Um, so I, I'm thinking that you can loop through the array and you can actually like sort circuit it a little bit because if you if you meet the threshold, then you can just stop early. Uh, so let me let me uh, do that. Let me do that right quick. Um, so first, and this is like from uh, my Android development days. Uh, the thing you're returning is like uh, a string, and you should abstract your strings. <laughs> it's supposed to be good practice. So, and I've gotten like kind of used to it. Anyway, so I got that out of the way. Um, let me get my count. So this is a uh, in class count uh, in class count camel case no. equals zero okay and then i will loop through the array so for const num of a here i'm going to say in class count i'm going to add whether or not the number the so this is like really the arrival arrival time that the student arrives at and I know I'm like, I don't need to be this descriptive. I just like to be um, very clear about what is going on with the variable names. Um, so the arrival time, if the arrival time is less than or equal to zero, then they're here in class. And that's one more towards the threshold count. And here I can say, hey, if in class count, so this is, a, so by the way, this is like a Boolean. So if it's true, it'll return a one. Uh, it will be converted to a one and add that to the counter and then zero otherwise. So it doesn't really change the counter. Um, so if in class count is greater or equal to K, then I know I can return true or I can return no because the class is not canceled. I heard, and then once I get through that, if I don't short circuit there, I can return yes. Class is canceled because that means that I didn't meet there. I never met the threshold after at that point. So it's kind of like a kind of inverted way of thinking about things. Okay, cool. So that looks like it's working on at least the first test case. Let's submit some code. Let's see what we got. Let me look at my time. Mm, I think I did pretty well on that one. Okay. Hey, I'll done it. I'm, I have 11 minutes left, so not too bad. It was an easy one, so I shouldn't praise myself too much. Um, anyway, I hope that was. Uh, I hope that kind of shows you like, at least my thought process. Perhaps like you would have gone about it a different way. So I'm kind of curious, like if you had gone about it a different way, uh, how would you have done it? Um, but I hope that hope that was helpful. Uh, if you did find it helpful or informative, please you know subscribe, leave a like, let me know that I'm actually doing something that's worth doing. Anyway, hope that was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye.